8 p.m. is the uh, the current dinosaur island time. CO2 test snuff PM a whole lot of people. You're actually expecting rad, dude. Oh, we might get a fight, guys. How many doomsdays? No, infinity. No, I'm not actually sure, dude. I don't actually know. No idea. You can ask me how to fit a um a vexor. Whoa. Man, who's this dude in the Falcon? What is that, man? What is that? Get him off grid. Get him out of there. Get him out. Dudes. Okay, so this is a Macarial fleet of darkness. Wait, is it darkness? It looks like darkness, yeah. Hmm, okay, I really need to get more overview tabs set up. <clears throat> Armor Macarials. With a Neros support. Once again, a, a couple of Tech 3 cruisers in there. Of the Proteus variety. Dude, everyone's here, mate. Everyone is here. How long we got? So someone confirmed this for me, right? Once this timer runs out, 38... Whoa. Whoa. That's what I'm talking about. Who's this guy? You have the correct skin, sir. Von. Oh, that is seriously a correct skin. Dude, that looks hot as well. The flagship. The flagship. Yeah. Okay. Apostles as well. So Apostles support, triage support, a couple of eons thrown in there, a couple of nags. Where's the rest of the Titans? They just got one Titan? It does look cool though. All right, one Titan at the head. Of, I mean, it looks cool. Are they going to be uh, bringing more? Who knows? Who knows? But really though, let, let's all just take a moment to appreciate the gorgeousness of a carnid skin on an avatar. Man, it's hot, right? I mean, if you're going to avatar, you need to carnid. It is the correct skin, in my opinion. That's what I'm talking about. This dude's got to be loving it, right? Like, Von, you have got to be loving being the only Titan on grid right now. Like, you know what I mean? He is loving it, dude. PL is here, mate. <sighs> PL. Many, many Apostles. Several Apostles. To be honest, there's probably already more than that on grid. Uh, whoa. Oh, here we go, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is so many whelps, dude. Oh my god, that is so many whelps. Dude. Maybe I should, um... He has 40 Titans in fleet, is that right? Can I rep the Citadel? Well, um, I'm in a Tengu, so I can't. It has an automatic repping thing after the... So there's going to be a 15-minute period uh, to online, and it needs to be... Whoa, dude, they are bringing the farm, dude. They are attacking the Citadel. Pretty much everyone that you see on grid right now is hostile to the people that put up this Citadel. So I haven't seen anyone on grid yet that's here to defend, so... Um, test, Project Mayhem, Snuff. Oh my god. Dude. We're going to get some crippling lag. Oh my god. The bounces are going to be real. So how you doing, man? Long time. What are you up to? Yeah. I'm doing pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty, pretty happy right now. Yeah, pretty excited. Uh, ops is turning out to be a success so far. I mean, we, we, I, you know, I, I got us a pretty dirty blob to get it here. I'm not going to lie. Dude, but, uh, how, how many Titans? Well, I was trying to count before. It looks like 50 plus, 60, 70 or something on grid right now. Yeah, I think we have, like, PL has like 20 or 25 and NC dot is like 40, some shit. So probably like, we're looking at like 60, 70 Titans. Right. I mean, do you, do you really, do you feel as though, I mean, people are talking about test, you know, en route and a couple of other entities en route in some pretty heavy stuff. Do you think that, they're actually gonna put up a fight for this thing for 300 bill? no i mean i mean i i mean i might mean, I mean, I try something um but i don't think they will because obviously the you know i'm not looking for a fight here i'm not gonna i'm not even ashamed of that at this point like you can blame me for that as an fc or people that have fought me before know that i can also fight on a on a normal level but for something like this uh i just i just don't want to fight i just want to kill this fucking thing and then you know, post on Reddit about it, basically. <laughs> it, 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 it is it is something that a lot of people don't have any respect for, and I understand that. Like, it, it is a it's like kind of a dick move, but whatever you get when you, uh, yeah. 
It's part of the game. You drop a key, sorry. And like, but obviously here, obviously I'm pretty sure, well, maybe not, but I would, I would guess that everyone on grid right now would be pretty pumped if it did turn out that, you know, um, uh, Project Box, whatever, uh, decided to drop all of their soups on of you. Of course. Of course. Of you course. Know. If they, if they want to go all in on this, then, you know, like, uh, I'm welcoming them with my, in my warm arms. Come, <laughs> you know, come at me, but I don't think it, they will. I mean... They, they are not bad at the game, like they are very, um, they know what they do, they know what they can engage, and this is, this is madness. Like anyone engaging this is, you know, <laughs> insane. Not, not, not sane. So, yeah, so you think that not... the defenders and all of their potential allies just simply don't have the potential, uh, you know, super capital force to, to even get anything done here? Is that what you... No, they do I mean, their best bet is gonna be dropping shitloads of dreads on a Titan that, for example, uh, drifts off out of the rep range or something like that, you know, but I don't see that happening right now. Uh, I'm not gonna say we're not gonna lose anything. This might happen. There can always be fuck-ups. People can be stupid. We have a lot of retards uh, in PL and also in general. There's like a lot of people and you know also when it comes to a fight like this with this many people sometimes your internet connection just stops working yep. and stuff like that so there's a lot of like a lot of shit that can happen and um we might lose something i'm not gonna say we're not gonna lose, but i don't think they can like face on they cannot contest this basically and i knew it before like i knew it beforehand there's like i said there's people that blame me for this which is fine but i knew this beforehand that i'm gonna form up a force a group of people that they cannot contest and what was my whole purpose with this <laughs> are you looking at avery in the in the chat fc killer me fc of my heart i love it yeah it's uh it's avery lewis our number one uh super carrier hunter yeah uh, <laughs> he called us the project mayhem nix the other day after failing terribly at warping to him or probing him or some shit and then he got him anyway so he's a hero he's a hero <laughs> yes i'm supposed to post a dc uh, did you just get a huge lag spike local didn't go up though uh, no, I'm working fine. I'm boating around here in my carrier, just over. So right now, the reason why I have time to come here, basically, there's nothing going on. The, the Keepster comes out in 15 minutes. We have all the fleet set up, um, but, so I can I can focus. But I, if something happens, I'll just have to yeah, that's fine. disconnect. Of course. Yeah. So if, if you have just tuned in, so Killer B is one of the FCs um, of Pandemic Legion. So Pandemic Legion is here with NC, <clears throat> with about 70 Titans on grid, as well as an entire... Legion of Apostles, Aeons, uh, Nyx's plus try has a Tengu fleet. Uh, there's so much stuff on grid. What else? Pandemic Horde's got a Hurricane fleet. Yeah, Pandemic Horde's here. I've pretty much invited everybody. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of people that say no when you offer them, let's go kill the first Keepstar together, right? Yep. Or like, let's, let's, let's be the first ones to kill Keepstar. It's not a lot of people that say no. So I've pretty much invited everyone um, to come with us and kill it with us. We have uh, we have the entire Guardians of the Galaxy Coalition. We have uh, the XIX Coalition, Gemco. We have Tri, where Vanguard is here, basically. Uh, we have my awesome friends from Lumpy. Shoutouts to Atlan, by the way, for being here. Uh, we have we have goons in the Crow Fleet, which is nice, but they're not on our side, technically. Right, okay. But I guess with, with the Crow Fleet, you're on no one's side, basically, <laughs> but whatever. They did just get a uh, pick-off on Horde a moment ago, so I figured yeah. they're not on your side. We have TC, we, we pretty much like everyone when it's coming, Shadow Cartel, Escalating Entropy, like all these guys, they just, you know, there's a lot of rivalry going on, especially between the low sec groups. So yes. they obviously have been waiting for an opportunity like this to to do tremendous damage to somebody like Project Mayhem. So yeah, they, they're all pretty keen and hyped up. Should be interesting, dude. I mean, no one's ever seen what these things look like when they explode. I guess maybe on Sissy, but... Not on oh, TQ. one sec. I just got I just got noticed as well that my my bros from Broski North fucking Steel Ready and Rolfos are here too. Down from all the way from Quarius, dude. Oh, dude. They came up here to to show up for this shit. So it's a long way, awesome. man. It's a long way. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting you. No, no, it's fine. So you can probably explain. This is this is someone that is vastly more intimate, I guess, with the mechanics of citadels, of all this sort of stuff that I'm obviously not too uh, brushed up on. So this thing's gonna come out in 13 minutes. After yes. that, as I understand it, you've got 15 minutes before it's going to come online, which is going to be about two minutes before downtime. No, so basically what, how it works is the Citadel will repair itself. Yes. Um, yeah. The um, It will repair itself for 15 minutes. If it manages to repair itself for 15 minutes, it's online. It will be fully operational. Yep. But you can't interrupt the repair. The, the repair takes 15 minutes, but you can interrupt it by putting a certain amount of DPS onto the Keepstar. Right. 
which is in a, in a, in a, in a case of the Keepstar, uh, you need to hit 10% of uh, 93,000 DPS to interrupt the repair. So basically, we need to do uh, 9,300 DPS to interrupt the repair cycle. But, and this is the really important part, this is why I am, like, my worst enemy, and this isn't Project Mayhem, Snuff, Test, or whatever, the worst enemy that we have is Tie-Dye. Yeah. Because the, the problem with the tie-dye is um, the, all the repair mechanics of the Keepstar, of Citadels in general, aren't affected by tie-dye. So basically what it means, there's like a lot of math behind it. You can read it up in one of the two top Reddit threads. Yeah. There's a top Reddit thread called... I did read um, it. Yeah, basically there's like the, there's the math. You can look it up. Um, basically what it means is we need to do 10 times the amount of damage that it origi like it would take without tie-dye. Yes. So instead of having to do... Uh, instead of having to do 93k DPS to kill it within 30 minutes, we have to do 930k thousand DPS. Yeah, yep. So like a tremendous amount of damage to even be able to kill it and to be able to interrupt the... The um, rep cycle. Interrupt the rep, rep cycle. That's why we brought all the shit, obviously. We want to just make sure that we hit that DPS cap no matter what happens. Yep. Interesting. So we have... 11 minutes ladies 11 minutes and then you're gonna see quite a lot of damage being put onto the wait can, can you do doomsday this thing does that does that work uh we, we just somebody just asked me that on pl comms and i am actually not sure so if somebody in twitch chat knows the answer i haven't looked it up but uh, you might be able to i don't know but we're not gonna we're not gonna waste our doomsdays for uh the keep so we're gonna wait until um we're, we're, you know you want to be prepared for the case that maybe dreads drop or something and then you need your doomsdays so right. we're not gonna waste it on that of course of course but uh, yeah, the, I actually don't know. So maybe somebody knows better than Twitch. Are these the same tracking Titan setups? Unless you OPSEX, whatever, that you saw that you guys had in um, SD, whatever, the other day? Uh, uh, basically, in uh, in P3N, we used we used tracking Titans with the high angle weapons to yep. shred subcaps. In SH1, and even today, we're using uh, XL guns on our Super Sim Titans to right. make sure that we, or XL guns on our Titans. And, uh, yeah, so that we can kill. The keeps are and also uh, maybe incoming caps. I think we've got enough subcaps to cover the grid regardless, so should be good. There's definitely well, there's a 250 man horde hurricane fleet, and then there's the tri um, Tengu fleet plus the Macarials, the armor Macarial fleet <coughs> of Snova. Don't know, oh, wait, it's not Snova. Snova's in Tengu's. My bad. T3s, pretty sure. Oh. Everyone's here, dude, and yet still no uh, no defenders yet. Looks like. Um, I mean, I've got I've got intel so far. I've got intel from uh, various of our quote unquote enemy groups here that they might not even show up. Wow. Um, because it's obviously <laughs> a little bit pointless. I mean, we were sort also, of talking about it before. Like, they're gonna have to risk so much more than what the keep star is worth to even have a chance uh, of of stopping you guys. It looks like. Also, if you get a chance to, um, to all the Twitch as well, basically, I mean, I don't know if you noticed it, that um, we had, like, these red threads that we created were basically about uh, about something with the shuttle dropping, right? Uh, you probably, yes, probably read yep, that, did yep. you? Yeah, so, um, so we, we did drop, um, uh, Project Mayhem did try to, or they realized, uh, Project Mayhem and the allies realized that the only chance for them to defend this is to generate as much tie-dye as they can. Yes. So we basically cannot kill it, right? Um, and in order to do that, they dropped a shit ton of shuttles in a pass. Um, so what they what they could do is, um, or what they could have done, uh, or, or they still can. There's still a lot of shuttles here. They're everywhere. Um, I'm looking they at can, them. They can offline the pass technically, and then they can smart bomb all those shuttles. Yes. And the problem with with tie dye and low sec is that in tie dye you don't only have all the calculations that the server has to do for the damage and everything. You also, in addition to that, you have the crime watch. Where for every single noob sh ship that you kill there, you're gonna get a uh, security status loss by your smart bombs. So there's a shit ton of uh, calculations that the server has to do to calculate all those security status losses. Simultaneously. That's why, that's why you generate so much tighter with that in, uh, in low sec. Yeah, there's a lot of people saying, oh, it's clear exploit, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah, that's why I was. That's why I'm leading up to this. I mean, it is an exploit, and this is not 100% confirmed, so I don't want to be too smug about it. But I mean, their, their main FC, the, the Project Mayhem's main FC, which is called Tau AD, uh, he's um, and he's not in local, so I can just you know, what what might that mean? That's what I'm gonna put out. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, yeah, apparently CCP did, or some game masters did destroy a bunch of them. I did read yes. that. All the ones that Tau AD dropped get uh, did get destroyed by a game master. And it appears so, and like I said, this is not confirmed, there might be a retard, but it appears so that Tau ID even got a, uh, a two-week ban for it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, oh that's, 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 that's what you mean. He's not in local, off. right? Maybe, maybe he's yeah. logged. Yeah, maybe he's logged off. Maybe he's 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 in another system. I don't know. Maybe it's, like I said, that's just rumors. But it's you know obviously a very satisfying feeling for me because, yeah. Yeah, you know, you want the content, mate. We want, we need these explosions. I mean, I would a lot of people so You'll far. You'll get a huge explosion. That's for sure. Yeah, I see that one. I mean, worst case scenario here looks to be. I mean there could be some extenuating circumstances but it looks like worst case scenario is we're going to see the first keep star explosion in evil online best case scenario you know snuffbox project mayhem etc test etc are going to drop their equivalent of the farm but who knows who knows doesn't that, seem like i mean I w it, w it would be amazing don't get me wrong like if they want to do that i'm looking forward to it bring it and it's going to be a sick brawl it's going to be a bloody brawl it's going to be an amazing brawl um, but they're gonna lose it, so I don't. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We got six, seven minutes, ladies. Seven minutes. Yeah, I'll, I'll head out. I'll head out in like two minutes. So. Yeah, no problem, man. Still no. Um, but I mean, yeah, no I just wanted to, to use contest. this chance because I saw you streaming and I like your stream. So. Thanks, man. No, I'm glad you came on. Uh, clear up my own, um, my own knowledge of the the next twenty minutes and the sequence of events as they're gonna unfold. Because this is not my area. I don't deal with this stuff at all, really. Oh, so many titans. So in case you're wondering, guys, there's 70, roughly 70 titans on grid, roughly. So if you just calculate the amount of isk in titan form, we're looking at like close to, to 10 trillion. I mean, if you include pods and everything else, we're probably looking at 70 titans. Is my maths wrong? It's really like almost my bedtime, but that's about right, I think. Plus, you've got the countless, there's probably just as many eons, nixes getting around. Uh, which obviously not going to be quite as expensive, P plus the Apostles, which are nowhere near as expensive, but still, an enormous amount of isk on grid. Well, look at all these people logging in, dude. Look at all, these are all people coming out of their login warps, or something. Yeah, it is. Can you move the camera, please, dude? Anytime? Yeah. All right. Subcap extraordinaire. So I imagine that the um, Titans are going to wait until the server stops crapping itself before they log in so that they're not logging in like one at a time and um, vulnerable to getting blapped. Pandemic Court here. Basically, we, we traded a couple of canes. Oh, FC's got headshot. Didn't go long for it. Yeah, I, Peleus, I had just seen that you guys... The go No, she's not coming with me long haul, no. Um... I just, oh, here come the Titans, dude. PL Titans just got, oh, dude, that is a sight to see, dude. Oh, that is really a sight to see. So what you're watching right now is all of the NC, sorry, and PL Titans all logging in at the same time. And they've come out. So when they logged off, they e-warped to like in random directions, right? And they're all coming back. Fuck, that looks sick, dude. They are converging, dude. Does that not look awesome? I've never seen that. That's what it looks like because it's currently put. What the? Do you guys see this? Look at it. Is this not amazing? Everyone coming in at the same time. Like, what you're seeing are all the fleets logging back in, guys. Okay. <laughs> like, you saw it before with the Titans, but now you're seeing it with all of the subcaps. They're all coming in. I thought it was like. Oh my god, dude. Like... I've never seen anything like this before, dude. What an amazing game. Like, what the fuck? There's, there's 2,700 people in local. Wow. There is something big going on, so I'm covering that shit with the Zavox News Chopper. I'm in a cloaky Tengu of Doom. Warp scrambling is stopped. Oh, you saw a small exp Oh, dude, there's explosions! Here we go! Is that, is that it? Oh, oh, oh! 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 Guys, it's happening. It's happening, dude. Connecting. It's happening. Boz! Boz, that's a fucking enormous explosion, dude. 
Holy shit, dude. Buzz! Buzz! Oh, you guys better have your invulns on, dude. Connecting. Oh my god. Guys, fuck me. Fuck a duck, dude. Fuck me. Wow. Wow, dude. Look at the fucking size of this shit. Holy shit. Kill it with fire. Oh. <laughs> Guys, 300 billion isk just got wasted. A couple of people asking what did they do to, um, what did they do to deserve this? Why, why all the hate? Uh, I don't think it was hate, guys. I think it was just, this is the first time there was an opportunity to kill this structure. Connecting. One of these structures has never been blown up before. It's literally the first time in the history of the game. These are fairly new. The structure itself is a fairly new addition to the game. And they wanted to blow it up. I don't think there was any hate. I could be wrong. Your EVE Online experience is not complete without IWantISK.com, an EVE Online themed casino. Join in-game channel IWantISK and follow instructions. Mining, spend some slots. In warp, enter a raffle. Camping in Jita, scratch a card. Prizes from frigates to jump freighters. Modules, implants, BPOs and things. Earn ISK by inviting friends, progress your level and complete various achievements. Watch affiliated streamers on Twitch, take part in events and win free stuff. IWantISK.com